Today we're gonna edit a photo that I took uh, in the video two weeks ago that I shot in debris. If you want to see that video, you can uh, watch it right here. But stick around till we edit this, uh, this photo and then go watch that video. So welcome to the channel and uh, we're gonna dive right into it. So we are here in Lightroom and we're gonna edit this photo here. The very beautiful photo with the, with the road that's leading our eye to this beautiful tree. But the light here on top is a little bit overexposed and the light is a little bit dull in this photo. Because also it's a raw image. So let's start editing. We're gonna bring down the highlights. The highlights totally bring up, open up the shadows a little bit like this. The whites, we're gonna bring up the whites a little bit, not too much. I'm pushing uh, the Option key or the Alt key, so I can see if I can uh, burn out the light, the whites or not, and I don't want to do that. So, something like this. I'm gonna bring down the blacks a little bit. Also not too much. Doing the same thing, pushing the Alt or Option key and clicking on uh, the blacks to see where my parts are pitch black. I'm gonna bring down the clarity a little bit, like minus nine, not too much, just to to uh, bring down the, the, the edge a little bit, to make it a little bit softer. The vibrance, I always do plus 20, or around plus 20. That's what I like. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring down the contrast a little bit. something like this that's already looking much better so what I'm also gonna do is the yellows are a little bit too yellow so I'm gonna go a little bit more to the orange feel to get that really golden light that, uh, that I wanted that morning also the orange is gonna go a little bit more to the reds to make it even more warmer I'm gonna remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. A little bit more yellow in uh, the temperature and a smidge of magenta that looks already way better. And now, now this was only the, the beginning of the photo so now we're gonna bring the magic into this picture. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go the line gradient filter for the sky. And I'm gonna bring down the highlight in the sky. And you see in the right hand corner, you start to see a little bit of blue. And then here we have that beautiful yellow light. And that's what I want. That's super beautiful. And maybe you're wondering if you're familiar with Lightroom, why aren't you not uh, using the select sky button? And the reason is, if you're gonna push the select sky, it will detect the, the edge of uh, the mountains here in, in the back and it's, it's gonna give a little bit of an unnatural feel to, to editing that sky so that's why I like to use the, the gradient uh, tool to edit my sky it's gonna give more of a natural feeling what I want to do more is color range so when the, the update came out with the color range tool my editing workflow totally changed so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna search for a lighter part that was not the lighter part I guess maybe this one yes so here you see everything is selected but with the refine slider we can bring down that 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 edge that we want to to edit and I want to brighten it a little bit up something like this make it a little bit more yellow to get that golden feeling in the, in the tree but now like you saw show overlay you see that we are here also having that mask and I don't want that I only want it on the tree so what I did here was subtract and brush minus the brush so I can erase everything that I don't want to be lit up in this picture. So everything we don't need to be lit up by the color range tool, I'm just 
brushing away. No need for it. I only want our eyes to go to, to that beautiful tree and not to the background. That's already a little bit better. But I think the tree is a little bit too dark. So, refine edge again. So I'm gonna bring out the tree a little bit from all the rest in the picture. Something like this. Show overlay, subtract and brush. Just gotta do the same like in the previous gradient tool. So I'm gonna brush away everything that's lit up that we don't need. Something like this. And one more gradient tool. I'm gonna do it here on the bottom of the picture. And I'm gonna lower the exposure here in the picture. Because when I'm uh, making the, the foreground a little bit darker, or I will naturally go to the tree where the, the, the lighter parts is in, in the picture. So something like this, I'm gonna go a little bit more yellowish in the picture. That's it. And maybe just for fun, a gradient here. And also make it a little bit more yellower. Normally, you should also erase your dust spots in your pictures if you have some. But uh, I'm not gonna do the whole picture because my laptop is going a little bit slow. Yes, one more, one one more uh, color range that I want to do. It's here on this uh, grass here. I'm uh, gonna refine a little bit less. Make it a little bit more yellowish. And just like that, our picture is done. So we went from a flat light to a very beautiful golden hour feeling picture in uh, just a few minutes. So this is my workflow that I do in Lightroom with uh, the gradient tools and uh, the color range tool. Since we had the, the update in Lightroom and we had the color range tool, my workflow totally changed because I'm using the, the color range tool so much now to, to highlight some details in the picture, to bring my pictures to the next level. This is so cool. I hope you learned something about this video how I work with Lightroom and uh, how I bring my uh, pictures to the next level. So I want to thank you again for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!